Hello and welcome to the chaos. If you're watching this video, odds are good you're actually back in school. So welcome. I hope you're happy to see me because I'm happy to see you. I wanted to take you on a tour today of the art room and all the things that you have available to you to help you create the coolest things possible this term. You'll notice behind me I have this door with a lot of awesome laminated things. Guess how I spent my summer? Just kidding. One of the main things on the store that I want to draw your attention to here is where it says art room schedule. Now this is a schedule of all the times that class is in session in this room and the times that I would prefer that you not be in here. Should you need to come in and work on a project, you can check to see if class will be in session. And if so, perhaps you just duck in quickly, grab what you need and move on. Or you could choose to work at the independent workstation. You'll notice that this setup behind me this year is for studio students, visual chronicle students, or students who want to come work during their study hall while I have another class going on in this classroom. You're welcome to set up here, use a stool, use a desk, whatever your heart desires, the space is yours. Now let's take a look around the other places. As you're entering this room, you'll notice that there's a lot going on all around with lots of options of where you could be. This is where you will spend most of your time with yours truly up front. However, as you come in, I want you to know the things and supplies that you have available to you. One of the things I would ask is that you don't come back into this back room back here. A, it's really messy, chaotic, and I prefer that it's like a hidden closet that you don't know exists. B, all the supplies in there are actually accounted for all of the different art classes. So if you really need a supply back there, you need to come and ask me first. Otherwise, that room will be locked at all times. In general, a good rule of thumb for this room is that if you can see it without opening any cupboards or doors, have at it. Feel free to use it. If you have to start opening cupboards or going into rooms that hmm, have a door, ask me before you get in there. The cupboards up here hold all sorts of fun things. Typically, again, these are reserved for students that are in my classes and for particular classes. Please ask me before you start rifling through them. I know there's rubber cement and I know it's fun, but please ask me first. You'll notice then that down here, we have all sorts of things. Those of you that were with me last year, you'll notice I had some lovely students rearrange, but all the things that you might need to draw, to sticker, to create, to collage, all those fun things, you can find them all down here. If you ever choose that you need to have magazines for magazine collages or stuff there, you'll notice that they are underneath this table along here. You could have at it all through there, okay? Those of you who feel like you're ever stuck on a project and you think to yourself, gosh, I really don't wanna use the internet today. I'm just sick of it. I wish Mrs. Bartz had, um, what are those called? Some books, some books I could look at for inspiration. <gasps> Lo and behold, I have some books for you. In this windowsill, typically that's really good for studio or visual chronicle kids. However, anybody might find some fun things down there. Now, if you're in the mood where you're like, I'd rather destroy books for the sake of art and projects. <gasps> Glad you asked. There, down, hiding underneath the world, all throughout there, are some books that are no longer needed, shall we say. And if you choose that you need a cool backdrop for a project or something fun like that, you are welcome to cut and use those as you see fit. Now moving along to some of these things over here. One of the things that some of you guys have learned is that there's a really awesome paper cutter hiding in that back room. Fun fact, that's no longer a legal paper cutter because it doesn't have a guard on it. So it is a big deal that you guys don't go back in there and use that. It's a safety thing. However, you do have this one up for grabs. My goal is to keep this clear all year long so that way you guys can use it when you need to. The biggest thing, after you're done using it, please make sure the blade is all the way down. That's a huge, huge safety issue. The other thing to note about this lovely paper cutter is that it really only cuts best when your papers are slid all the way up to the top. For whatever reason, the blade doesn't have enough weight on it if you just simply put your papers down here and slam it down. You'll end up with some really funky cuts and you'll end up really mad at yourself for that. And I'll say, bummer, that's the only paper I have. Okay. Now, down here, this is where each of your classes, especially middle school, will keep your class work. High school, I have some other storage for you guys, but in general, I'm going to ask that you only go for your folders in there and not for other people's. Now, let's take in the rest of the room. Ideally, I'm going to have all my classes try and sit outside on the perimeter. This way, I can get to as many people as I can during class without bobbing and weaving through rows and be able to duck into this cool little area and come up front there. On this side over here, this is where we have the copier and this is where my process students, my high school students, you guys will have your own cubbies here that you get to take hold of too. 
Up on top here, this is a light table, should you ever need it for a project, although in my classroom, you won't use it a lot. You're welcome to use that there. Make sure it's plugged in, turn on the lights. It's not that hard, clap twice and then you're welcome to go. On top is a really old school Mac. So if you are ever in need of finding pictures, that one can actually directly hook up to our copier and you can print from there. If you wanna know the password, I think that it's set up somewhere in that MacBook. If not, ask me and I'll ask somebody else who hopefully remembers it. Another thing to make a note of on this copier, since it is bring your own devices this year, um, if you want to print something, feel free to share it to me. However, there is a lovely cord on this copier that allows you to print for yourself if you just plug it into your USB port. Um, I need to find the right one for it. Oh, I just did. Check this out, okay? It's the one currently plugged into this laptop. It's kind of this gross discolored white color. But if you ever need to plug something directly from your computer, feel free, come over here, plug in your USB and hit go. Um, before you start going crazy with that, ask me because there's a couple setting tweaks that you might have to make too, okay? Now, as we come over here, ah, this is the lovely cleaning station. Here is where all great sorts of chaos and messes happen and where I lose my mind throughout the year. So our goal is that you guys get to help clean up after yourself. Help clean up after your, you get to help me by cleaning up after yourself. What I ask is that this is the sink where you do it, your initial washing off of paint and things like that. Then you really scrub over here. And finally, this is my drying side. I don't care if once things are clean, if you just put it over there. There are a few things that I do care about when it comes to this cleaning station. A, know that this faucet is a fire hydrant. So please turn it on carefully. Otherwise, madness will ensue and people will get doused in water. Funny, not clean though. The other thing that I want you to pay attention to is when you are done with your brushes, this goes for everybody, please make sure that you dry them upright. If you just put them in a container to dry, they end up looking like this. And that just makes me sad and cranky. And then somebody just lost a really good detail brush because they just put it in to dry like that. Please take the time, make sure they're flipped upright, bristles out, and make sure they're really nice and clean. Okay. You might say, oh, I don't really care if it's clean. Well, the next person who uses that brush is going to care if all of a sudden they're working on a nice soft background and your blue or flaming red comes out there. So please make sure your brushes are clean. All right, now as we walk over here, you will notice this blank wall will be blank most of the time. That's where I'll project. That's gonna be the fun stuff like this. Additionally, as I said very briefly when we first walked in, this is our independent workstation. Um, during class time, especially middle school, I will have certain students sitting over there because we are such large classes. However, high school, you are always welcome. If you are in a studio class or in a visual chronicle class, I'm gonna actually keep you separate this year for my sake as well as yours. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful tour. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, ask. Oh, I forgot the best part. So high schoolers, if you choose that sometimes you just need a little caffeine to get through your day, I got you. If you come around this corner here where it looks even more chaotic with all the cardboard boxes, down here, you're welcome. There's hot water, there's a coffee maker. You have to have your own cup with a lid so that way we all don't get in trouble. But usually I'm gonna try and make sure I have some coffee pods stashed here for you. So if you need to make a cup of coffee, please do so at your leisure. Just don't spill it over your artwork or other people's.